In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do design for my project. So first of all, I'm not a UI designer. So whenever I build a project, I do not spend my time on Figma, try to mock up the UI, and then try to rebuild that from the Figma. So if I do that, the UI is going to look terrible. So what I do is I look up inspiration from the other website, or maybe you can say I'm still other design. So I look up the inspiration such as from websites such as Triple or Behance. And for example, these two I use a lot whenever I need to find the UI inspiration. So what I would do is like if I build a website from like related to travel and then I'm going to go and search related to travel and then I'm going to search to it and then it will look something like this. And some of it is not realistic as well because some of the application here is not even real application. The, even though the design is looks nice, but it's not real. So um, what I would do is just pick up a little bit of things from the design that I like and then I try to apply. I'm not trying to copy the whole thing. So for example, right here, just for example, I like the pricing right here. So yeah, I'm going to copy this pricing or if I like some other part of it, so I'm trying to do that. So for example, the underline right here, if I like it, I try to pick it and then try to apply it for my project. And I also would like to do to draw it on a paper to clear my mind on how the design is going to look like. So some example, let's look like this. Uh, this is like my hand drawing on like, you know, the what's UI is going to look like and things like that. So let me show you some of the example on how I do that. So um, for example, this project right here, that project I'm currently build right now. And so the inspiration from this one is, for example, this uh, hand drawing right here. So I go into this website, which is this one right here, and I see this hand drawing around the word right here. And I really like this one and I wanted to build this one. So and then try to see how I can do that. So after I know how to do this one and then I just like, OK, let's try to apply this one for my project and which I do here, even though it's not uh, it's, it's not look the same, but I get the same concepts from this one. As you can see, we have the same things. And what I do here is just easy. This one right here is just an image. And then I put the text uh, inside. So you can see if you highlight this one, you will see the difference with these two. And so yeah, so that's that's what, that's what I do. So I like this design. I pick a little bit, try to apply. And then for example, the video player right here, when I play this one, it's play video from YouTube. The inspiration is from this website right here that this one right here, we can visit the go live as well. So as you can see this one and it's doing the same thing. So it's play video. So basically I like this design. Let's try to take this one and apply this one to my project. And even though like the whole app has at the other a lot of things, but I just pick something that I like and I try to apply to it. And even the color of this one, I get inspiration or even copy from the other website. I think the website that I copy is from uh, Kenzie Doc. And so you can see the even the color, it's similar to him because I copy the color from him because whenever I go to any other website, whatever I like from that, I try to, okay, let's try to take a little bit from this, um, a little bit from that and try to apply it for my, um, for my project. And that's why, as you can see right now, I can have this design right here and basically i pick a little bit of bits a little bit of that and then put and then combine everything so there's a lot of examples of the other project that i, that I uh, copy and get inspiration from the other website and then put it but you get the idea and how i do it and i think the most important part even though if you do not know how to design even if you steal someone else design or like get inspiration from the other uh, that's probably the nice word to say it you have to know the fundamental of the UX and UI. It's really important. I think the fundamental, it's, uh, it has like a color contrast, a space things, a visual hierarchy, oh, and call to actions, and all those kind of thing, like the fundamental of it. If you know the fundamental of it, even if you're not, like, you know, uh, doing your own design, even if you uh, take inspiration from the other, if you know that, you will still make a great uh, UI. It's not maybe great, but it's at least it's good looking and clean because your spacing, your color is correct because you know those fundamental. And it's really important to do that, uh, to know about that, which I did be uh, because I used to take a class on a UX UI, but I'm not really deep dive, but I know the fundamental of it. That's why it's helped me a lot whenever I 
uh, try to find the inspiration and try to pick it and apply it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about. And so let me know on how do you design your uh, web application? Are you designing on your own everything from scratch or you get inspiration from the other website? And let me know which website do you use the most. And so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.